So do you remember the proper explanation, Atta? About the whole uh, recursion crap? Do you think? Sorry? What do you think? No, you don't. <laughs> Oh no. Oh yeah. Uh anyway, the reason the reason for the for the minus error is this line right here, 79, right? Because any operator there are not special operators. Uh like and or plus or multiplication. Uh, what about we rethink all of this first? So let's think of the all the operators and how we want to make them without thinking of edge cases. And where did it start? It started here, line 57. Yeah. So let's think here. So how do you comment this? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so let's list all the operators we want to support. So plus um, multiplication division and or equality what else no we don't have equality at the moment but we can add that operator <laughs> okay uh, uh, yeah we else? only have those i guess at the moment no but that's fine like just list the, the the basic ones i think that that's it right yeah so okay what do we want how do we want this to work can we do this at the moment uh, yes no the moment oh, what we oh no can't. no no we can't do this because the type checking of that is broken yeah so we can't we can't do that so we needs to be at least uh one element two. Uh, what I don't do you mean by we can't are we talking about what it is now or what it should be what it is now okay but why is that useful if you are refactoring we had wh what do you mean shouldn't we think about what we want I'm trying to say, like, think of what we want to do. Oh. And then we we try to make make something without thinking of edge cases, like how to treat this differently from this. Let's try to find a compromise, like, between making something that is decently easy and, well, decent. <laughs> so, decently <laughs> easy. So, anyway. So, okay. So, can I remember we had this discussion that between, like, just this and this, right? And I don't recall, but there was an argument that we couldn't make the thing with only one element. I think that the argument said that we couldn't make with no elements because of type checking. But I just, I just need to, I just want to. Oh yes. Yeah. Okay. The thing is, we can, you okay. cannot In do this it. this case, zero. we can't. We can't as well, right? Because these arguments, they are okay. What is the neutral element here? Unless you're yeah, just returning this. That is like, in, is it's like in some context there. That is, if you are using as a overloading. <laughs> Uh, operator. So if you don't have that, it could be zero. Oh yeah, that I agree, but we are doing overloading. So then you like specify, okay, for these, like because floats, we can't, but for the others, like we will be able, right? Well, yeah, the depending problem, on the... The problem I, I remember, like, it would be, okay, so what is the return of this? Is this a zero or a float? So we would have to get by the Yeah, context. the type checker would have to Go crazy with the context. And the same thing goes for this, I guess. But this is more easy. Well, this is easy to solve because, well, the neutral element is just the first, right? So you just return the first. Uh, that's kind of bad because, for example, the minus will be wrong, right? Like a minus one. No, but so that's the thing. That's the that's trick. That's why we treat them differently, right? Yeah, but that's yeah, the so trick. Yeah, so that you is the, the root of the problem. This is a negative number. <laughs> Oh, yes, yes, I agree. Because the neutral element here should be 0 and then 0 minus 1. So that's minus 1. But we're not doing this, you know? We are not so doing that's but that's what we should... Like, that's what we where we stopped last time. Yes, but that's the problem. Like, we would have to... I think it would be very troublesome to handle everything, every element, every possibility here. Uh, maybe not, not really. But anyway, like, I'm just concerned of like handling too much, too many cases for like every neutral element for every set, you know. Oh, and there's a there's a gotcha for that as well, which is that our negative oh. numbers would require brackets. <laughs> Oops, it would be like. And that's the keys for Haskell, man. <laughs> yeah. But... 
Oh. That's pretty much Haskell. But yeah, but it's better. Well, well, if we are okay with that, I am okay with this. No, 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 thank you. No. <laughs> okay, so let's. Yeah, you're gonna have to redesign how to make negative numbers, I guess. Then. So let's do let's do here like what we want and what we are we plan to do. Okay. Uh, multiplication, same thing. Oops, I forgot the arrow. No wait, uh, is this is this how we plan to do it? I'm just I'm just doing like the dreamy scenario. We can't we curve it down. Even have floats. Yeah, we do have no we, we don't do have floats, we have rationals. No, we have rationals, yes. Yeah. So Social that's media. not all the same thing? I know uh, that. No, yeah, it's no, matter. it is kinda not, but okay. Whatever. So this oh what the heck? Okay, never mind. That's right. So this divide and the neutral element is just one. Uh, and this is not a problem because well we already know the neutral thing, so the sent. I don't no, know. no, but the and the and and the or they do can they can be empty. They well, we don't need to like that's the thing that I'm saying like because they, it's pretty clear the neutral elements for them like or is true. No, 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 and, but and that's, that's different because uh, if you true. not allow them to have an empty element, this would be not allowed. And this would be this like this, is right? Not allow. Well, we could allow them to have that. No, but we are already. But that's Look. a special case. Okay, but that's the thing that I'm saying. We should find a compromise to not be overly inconsistent because. Man, like we're basically gonna handle like cases for everything. Oh, yeah. like, now we the care easiest about implementation. The... Okay. The easiest implementation is just allowing like everything because even zero, it's the same implementation. It's just a fold, right? No, but the zero, some of them we can't because of the overloading. I'm talking about. Wait, wait. We can do this in Lisp, by the way, in common Lisp at least. We're talking about the R and the end. Oh, the R and the end? That's fine. What the heck is that, man? Is that like... Less than, less than, less than, and then it says, okay, it's false. Yeah, if but... it were this, then it's true. No, wait, uh, my question is... What are if the first one it's like less than all the others, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. That's really so good. Yeah, okay. I thought about, about I, I thought about doing something really crazy, but okay, that's better. <laughs> uh, so I would say, what if we ditch this neutral element altogether, uh, and you always have to send at least two. Um, that's what makes our, our lives a lot easier, I guess. <laughs> yeah, let's let's do it, man. And, and that's not something that I think like most people desire to have, like this neutral element to begin with. And it's just giving a lot of headache. So let's just drop it. Well, if that's the case. Okay, let's let's go for the code here. So. Yeah, I think we this need should to can do... go then. Because mm -hmm. these are the plus Special and the cases. multiplication for when you have one element, which is the thing that you just said that we're not going to support anymore. Mm -hmm. Actually, everything can be the same, right? No, it's not going to be the same because we want to short circuit the end of the or. Like, if in the middle oh. of the operation you already notice that one of them are false in an end, you don't have to oh, continue. I see. That there's just like a, a, a new thing. Yeah, this is also the neutral element. We're not going to support that anymore. This is the base case of the recursion. Mm -hmm. um, the same thing goes for the or. Yeah. Um, okay, and then we go to the real deal, which is this. Okay, so. So we can't. This ah, but now you can assume something, man. You can just use the base case normally. Because you know that it will never like have less than two. Because the parser will guarantee that. I don't mm -hmm. know if the parser will, will actually guarantee that. How can we make the parser verify oh, that we have parse at least two? two? 
Well, um, you parse oh. like one, and then, then you parse, parse other, and then like many the options, rest. All right? Or you parse many and check the size. Uh, well, that's... Not sure about that because of performance, but yes. Yeah, that's bad, but that's a solution. Okay, that's a solution. Mm. Anyway, we let's start with the evaluator. So we're not gonna. Uh, what you said, Nathan, is that we can treat the base case normally right now, right? Yeah, like you know that you have like yeah. at least two. Then you just do it for this, right? You can remove all those one and such. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna do Control Z now because the base case is word here. Okay, so we can remove mm. this and that. Yeah. And this thing here, this thing here, we don't have a uh, recursion for that, so this can go also. Mm -hmm. This is an error, a straight up error, mm -hmm. uh, which I actually prefer to go here. Uh, this an error? Yeah, it's when we have an yeah, empty list. Yeah, it does nothing. Wow, but you... No, we don't need to handle this, right? We are sure we're not going to handle this. But that will be the base case, isn't it? No, we don't use uh, recursion. No, this recursion is not recursive. Yeah. Okay, oh, okay. So this is a, okay, so now this is pattern matching at least two. Yeah, but then you, know, you need to change the error for something that we know that. Yeah, we, then, we need to change Okay, that. we need to change this, right? How was it? List? Yeah, that, like that. Okay. Or was it on the beginning? Like. No, it is in the beginning. It is in the beginning. Look at here. Oh, okay. uh, uh, like, what is the error message? Should not happen. <laughs> okay. If you are seeing this, open an issue. <laughs> <laughs> if you're seeing this, we desperately need you to open an issue. Okay, so. By the way, that's a nice thing. You could even like give a link for you to click and open the issue with information, man. That's what some tools do, like online and such. There's no reason why the compiler could not have that. Why are you decomposing here, Lemus? Uh, because the because this is making sure that this list has at least two elements. Oh, I see for the pattern matching, right? Yeah, makes sense. Okay, and then here we don't need to change it. It's the same. No, no, no. It is not kind of the same. What? Because, yeah, because X2 now we would need... go in the S. Dude, I guess you have a problem doing that. Oh no, you're right. You're right, Magita. You're right. So this is just like that. Yeah, you don't need those two. Uh, but you don't need the rest as well, right? Yeah, we, do not, we don't need the rest. You can just use, yeah, underscore there. So this list has at least two elements. This last element can be new. Mm -hmm. And everything else is in error. Okay, cool. Nice. So, that's well, a lot simpler. I yeah, like that's it. a lot simpler, but I think now the typer needs uh, needs another crap. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Okay, Wait. so let's remember that we are not allowing empty and we are not allowing one. So, this thing can go. Oh, no, this thing can't go because this is the overloading thing. So... Let me see where you are. Okay, so we need we need list. Um, we need at least two elements again. So x1, x2, and rest like that. Then we check the first. If the type of the first is this. We assume that you can just return. Is this correct, Nata? Shouldn't it be the type of everything needs to be the same? Yeah. But uh, what is right? Isn't the isn't the parser already kind of doing that? No, I guess right. No, it parses arbitrary expressions. I think. Yeah. Yeah. So we forgot about doing that. So we need to. Basically, get all the list, type check on it. If something fails, then we short circuit. And then fails, in, I mean, like being different. Dude, I remember doing this. Like, uh, 
if something oh dude it's the same code as the bull let's go back here the, the boolean yes isn't it i remember doing something like this with you that uh, we short circuit with the equals or was it with not uh, i don't recall but anyway oh, it's like this line 132 uh, where on the type yes this <laughs> so yeah they all need to uh, have the same type uh, uh, but this is like for an arbitrary operator but this line is the same. This line is the same. Yeah. But we don't need to check the plus now, right? Oh. No, no. we do because we, we need do. to check individually the ones that have overloading because we are not combining yeah. them. Like Actually, here, let me see here. We are just handling and the nor to yeah. be bool. Otherwise, it's just a rational, an integer, or something else that we don't have here. Oh, no, 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 wait, so wait, 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 doing it. We, are, we are already doing it. Oh, I, now I understand what we did. We did like this, man. This this was like this before I started changing. This was like this. Right? So if you have a single stuff, if you have a single, a single thing, mm -hmm. which we're not allowing anymore. Okay, so these guys can just go, I guess. Yeah, disappear, vanish. If you have an empty stuff, then we have an error. Uh, and everything else is the is this function. Check Which properly the arithmetic right. operators with the exhaustiveness. Oh yeah, it's because we we don't have the we don't have the we're not checking the orders right. That's that's mm -hmm. this to do here. But that's fine. Okay, so I guess I guess this is already okay. okay. Yes, I hope. I hope it I is. Hope. Let's test. No, yeah, but there's a pro the, the the negative number problem is still there though. Yeah, but we need to parse it. That's a different error. So let's go to the parser actually. Let's do it now. Okay, Shouldn't but we need hard. to discuss that because we are not gonna use the the operators as an overload for negative. So how are we gonna do that? No dude, it's just add an optional thing on the front. Uh, or is the literal? No, it's this. Integer. Okay, so we just do. Oh, but that's gonna suck see. because it can also be a negative digits. rational. And then you read, and then it reads and converts this to an L yeah. integer. Yeah. Okay. So let me just do a nasty parenthesis. Yeah, I but then it. how are we gonna tackle the rational? Can you have negative rationals? We have the parser uh. for optional, man. No, oh, if you can't, do do. <laughs> The heck? <laughs> <laughs> uh, can you import here? I don't have a SP. Uh, search on the library. Optional, left. probably. Uh, yeah, we do already use the optional ones. Oh, for the return type, for the abstractions. Okay, option what did maybe. Do? Yeah, option maybe. Wait, why do we want the uh, option? Because to parse the sign. To parse the sign. So it's a optional with an uh, with a, a sh this, uh, a char? which we're gonna use the choose the try. Oh wait, why do we need the choose? Right. Because I'm afraid oh, we don't. But I, I, you remember the the trouble we went through using this, right? No, no, no. But we don't need we don't need to use alternative mm. for this. No, we do. I don't think so. We need to do string. With this or this? I don't think so. I think we can just use option maybe. And oh, unless char. you wanted to remove the plus, that's also an option. Remove the plus. Oh no yeah, no! Yeah, like I was doing the plus. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is that for? <laughs> well, well, you can do like plus one. That's a There's positive no number. Point in that. You might want to. I don't know, man. I agree that you may, for some reason, no, no. want to. Wait, take a look on the following. No, 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 it doesn't matter. I'll not discuss this. I refuse to discuss this. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <Right>. Screw it. <laughs> okay, so how okay. The, the, does the option work? Let me double check. Uh, and one here is wrong. Okay. And then this is a maybe probably. Okay. 
Okay, so here here is how it works. So in here mm -hmm. we put the applicative. Mm -hmm. uh, this parenthesis is not correct because it should be like that. But then there is a problem. We need to unpack, right? We need to. Um, okay. Do we have like a? a man? We need a function. No, we need a function to first combine these two, right? Because this will return a maybe. And these will return a list. You know what I would do? <laughs> of course I do. I just do this, right? <laughs> that's it. That, that's all the instrument. Like, you've got to be big brain to do this. Don't you have, like, option? Like, this is weird. Dude, here's how I get lost in Haskell. Like, I was doing something with Nathan. Like, we were doing this, right? So, like, the default, I think, we were using, right, Nathan? Or the map. Like, oh, bind. Yes. And all those things, like, we can just keep piping to functions. Like, that's something that bugs me in Haskell. Like, using these, like, operators on the middle of the thing. And I got to keep remembering them there. And <laughs> making, like, another auxiliary function instead of just using... No, no, no. Man, the like, auxiliary probably... is going to be like this. And then you're done. No, yes. But that's my issue. Like, I would say the optional type, which I think has a module and whatever, should have that already. Like, you know, like, maybe dot and pack. No, I but there is, is no, but there is a function to do that. Oh, so why don't we use that? Because because that's bad. We don't want to do a what? from just. Oh man, you gotta be joking. <laughs> what we're gonna do? Don't here? you have like a default or something like an error? Oh, we have default. We have default. So yeah, you just need to raise an error or something. Okay. Like, what is the case if that thing fails? It is unknown. Then we don't care, right? So we will have the default, which is empty. No, no, but that's the thing. We don't only need a function to handle the maybe, right? We need a function to handle the maybe and to handle the list. Oh, I see, 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 see. So that's what I'm doing. This is going to be... Uh, 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 an, uh, ooh. Wait. Oh, no, this is an integer, so it's going to return this. Uh, so actually, the, the read is actually also done. We can call this just read, read integer. I mean, you really just need the default, man, to aim this thing. Because you will then, like, glue everything together and use the parsing function. No, 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 we like, don't need it, just the default, because this... Yeah, he's using the applicative I'm using here, right? Applicative, so, that's, so this needs yeah. to be a function that handles both of them. If so you want to use applicative, the... we can just use... For instance, we can just use do notation and just do pattern matching and get and yes. get the thing done. You can do that if you want. So the nothing. Uh, this one question: Can you define the pipe on Haskell? I think there's a proposal that got refused about that. Man, what is that second argument from? No, but you can <laughs> you, you make it right. Like you can. I'm make it, like, trying to remember what is this digit parsing does. I'm with the stuff here. I'm opening the... What is your question, uh, Maggit? No, I'm asking, like, you can define the pipe, right? You can define, yeah. That I think Nathan already sent me the... Oh, it's a, it's a list of shards, this thing. Uh, yeah, can, can't you use digits, this? <laughs> and then you do read digits. Let's just start using this. And then read integer, and then you have just something that yeah. we don't care. Digits. It's gonna be uh, negate read uh, digits. So we can just do this and then that and then this and then that and then you're done. So let's see. What is the thing complaining? Okay, yeah, in this case, yeah. where the only code you have like more, it's negate dot. That's a really good solution. Yeah. Yeah, but this is essentially the same thing as the pattern matching, right? The nothing changes. Yeah, but the thing is, if... Uh, oh, how can I see that? This... Uh, like, you have the read and you have more thing. If that more thing was a lot more than just negate, then you would have a lot of code duplication. In that case, you would like to do the default like outside the thing being in line there or before like doing the pattern match oh man we have the rational just recall this yeah 
And this is even trickier because if the element, if the numerator is, <laughs> <laughs> if both are negative, it is positive. <laughs> if one of them is negative, it is like the entire thing is negative. But uh, I you don't need that. You can do just the following. You can just read the minus as minus of the whole rational thing. That's an option. Because the if the first one is separate, like minus in the separate, yeah, the person then like it's this, a division operation. Yeah, if the person this, is doing like yeah. this, we are assuming it's negative half. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, so if, if, they want, if they do something like this, wait, what? Oh, you uh, want to reuse that? Sorry. No, no, no problem. Like, if you want this... This would be an error. Yeah, this would be a problem. So you but would need to do this, still... right? No, not even like this you can yeah, do this. Yeah, you can't. You have to do a division. Yeah. Uh, but there is a thing. You still need to do one, calcul one calculation, even if you don't allow that. That is the simplification of the rational, I guess. No, but I think Haskell is already doing that for us. I hope. Oh, okay. We can double check that. So four and this. Wait, what? Is it like that? Wait, what? That's still weird syntax there. Uh, I am confused. Rational. Variable not in scope. Uh, Don't you need to open something? I don't think so. I remember doing this in the prelude before, but maybe I'm going crazy. Utilities. I think you're going local. Rational. Yeah. Man, I remember testing this already. What the hell? Uh, but, no, but this is, we can test this later. Just, let's test this. Let's test if this is working, this change that we just did. So as far as I can tell, this is already adding negative numbers out of the box to integers. We hope. No, not even. I gotta keep, gotta keep reinforcing that, that we hope. <laughs> but I didn't save the file. Good catch. Okay, we have an error. Uh, Isn't it CHR? Or do we need to import? No, it's oh, sure. Oh, shit. is already there. Um, oh, I think it's precedence. Oh. Uh, or is it, we're trying to join a char with a... Uh, no. What? Okay, I see, I see. Okay. Or, oh, wait. But we're trying to join a char with a string, right? Isn't that a problem? Oh, in Haskell string. No, 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 no. But that, that, that should that would be a problem. I, I, let me just double check the type of this thing, because if this is the type of that, so then it should be a maybe char this. I I just yolo it when I was doing it by myself. Okay. So expected type maybe char integer. Could have match type chars array no char list. Expected maybe char, but actual type char char. Yeah, this is the type char, that I uh, annotated, right? And this is what is receiving apparently. No, this is what it wants. Something yeah. else wants, like I'm a, pretty sure it's the precedence, man. <laughs> like you are doing the parsing, then reading, and putting on the data constructor, right? Oh, you think you're applying read integer to just this? At the I'm not sure. Here. I'm not sure what's the presence, but I think it's a presence problem. But no, Ed. I don't think it's a presence because fmap and applicative they have the same priority. What about composition in relation to those? Oh, I think he has highest, right? Because it's on functions. No, but even then, uh, am I using this correct? Let me double check. The option maybe here is just asking for a parser. Oh. So that should be enough. Maybe doing like that. D 
This is also late. Oh, yay. Ah. Okay, yeah, remove those yellow ones. Remove the yellow ones. Like this? Yeah. Wait. Oh. Yeah, try that already. No. Oh, wait. No, the same error was before. No, we, we went back to the previous zero. I think. I don't know if that's the case, but I think it is trying to apply option maybe to all for to these two. Uh, just just one thing: so. the applicativity takes a, a wrapped thing like the sum, right? The maybe, and then another thing to apply to it. Doesn't that thing needs to be a maybe as well or something? I don't know. No, I don't no. Know how... This doesn't need to be like this. Try can... to put parentheses on the composition. Tries to put parentheses because in here's my this. my thing. Like, what if no, no. that is composition on the left? Go and get the, What is your if that thing is nothing? What happens if this is nothing? Yes, that's fine because then we're gonna just apply read to whatever is coming as the list. Yes, but doesn't it cancel the digits? Does it cancel the digits? No, 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 yeah, like... that, but, no, but that's the thing. We are only applying option to this guy. We're not applying to everything that comes after that. No, I know, but that's why you're using the applicative later, aren't? Isn't that why? Wait. I oh am no, using... because you want the tuple. Yeah. Isn't that it? Yeah, exactly. But wait. So then, ooh, wait. So then the signature shouldn't it be a tuple instead of an arrow? You mean here? Yes. I don't know if it matters. We we could we could do like uh, this. And then combine these two in a tuple. No, no, no. I'm not asking if we should, <laughs> but sh is it, isn't it the case? Like, because here's the thing, like, I had in mind that this thing here... Oh, where's my cursor? <laughs> like, this thing here is the parser, right? For this case. It was picking the two parsers, and it was returning, like, a parser with, like, this. No, but that's the I thing. That's the not the applicative. That is the sequence that Nathan discovered back in the day. When you have okay. two parsers and they and you combine them together to return a tuple, you okay, but effectively this what you operator are doing here is, in this case of the parser is doing this, isn't it? No, it's not because the function that I'm passing to it. So what what is it doing? Let's go one mm. by one. It is trying to parse a, a char with the hyphen, right? This, the dash. It is trying to parse that, and then and then it is picking the result of this and giving to this function. This function it it, it receives the maybe right, and if it, it got a, a nothing on a just, it returns this function here. Do you agree? Yes, I see. Then it it, it picks the result of that right, and then oh, f maps okay. that using this function. Ah, that, that's that sucks. Like I was mistaking with this one. Like in in f in f parsec, it is this. So it picks both. You yeah, see? that this is the exactly the same thing as what we are doing, but it is hard coding the function to be the tuple. Yeah. And yeah, my Nathan uh, rent us because of that back in the day. Uh, as Magita said, apparently as I checked here, the composition is indeed with higher priority, man. So, is we really returning a parser from option maybe? Man, it needs to be because we are using it here. It needs to. It needs to be. Yeah. <laughs> it needs. <laughs> yeah, it is. I am checking the documentation and option maybe returns a parser. And what the heck is the chart thing doing? Is also returning the parser? Can't we change to string? Let's change to string. Just, just want to test something. And then we change this. Yeah, and but I think each link is complaining because yeah, it's is complaining. yeah, yeah. But we have at least one very obvious error there, like the yellow one. We should not be able to do first the applicative if we are not mapping before. Wait. Oh, you mean this? Yeah. Yeah. Uh... Okay, so it is the same thing as before. It is saying expected type, maybe string to an integer, actual type, maybe string char integer. So something is going fundamentally wrong. 
But dude, that is totally stupid. Like, why is he getting the option maybe with the composition? Wait. Expected type, maybe string to integer. Oh, wait. If the composition is higher priority than this, that means that we'll try to pick this, apply this, and then that. Which is what, which is what I no, said. No, no, no. If the composition is higher, it will compose, and then run the functor, and then, and then the applicative. Yeah, and then try which with is finish. what I that said, which is what problem. Marketa said. Yes, but go back there. It's saying that. Look, 14, there, up, up. Up, up. The, uh, the red shit. Oh, here. here. Yes. Yeah, so it is saying indeed that the types are not matching because we are trying to do this, all of this at once, right? Mm -hmm. So, well. So we need the parentheses there, I guess. No, the... we can just forget about it and do like that. Oh, no. Oh, but wait, that's not solving. Uh, that's not solving the applicative part. I think it is. I don't know. I think I. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, I'm not very confident. But oh no! Wait, because now it's not. It's not returning an integer anymore. It's returning a literal. Okay. Mm -hmm. If it works, it should be easier to Done. refactor it out. It works. So I can hmm. explain why it works. So it's picking this right and applying read integer. This is better matching this and returning all of that as the function for that. Okay, now it makes a little more sense. So that's, still that's that was the way more Is it because we are actually? using like point three style instead of like receiving the char list and Oh yeah, it is because we are using no we are we I add the reductive the thing. We could just do like digits here and then remove the free the point three style manner to something else. All of it is to do an option default. No, it's not an option default. Man. The same thing, man. It's literally the same no, thing. No, it is it was, not. It would be just this with an option default afterwards. We it's do have thing. a... No, man. It is not the same. It is, man. Dude, this was way more complicated than it should be. There is no justification. Uh... Like this... I hate this. I hate this in fix. No, not in fix. I hate this... Uh... Yeah, you hate the infix. <laughs> okay, no, I, I was with postfix <laughs> and uh, yeah, because like infix, I was thinking of like. Uh, you do hate like the infix. For some I like guess Polish. the part that you didn't like is regarding dealing in the applicative function instead of mapping the parser output. Wait, what the fuck's that? I think he's trying to rewrite the thing. Without the... Okay, so let's see if this compiles. Oh, I see. So for the nothing, for the sum, you add a different case, right? Yeah. Mm, okay, I, it didn't work. It's the same as the either, I think. Are the options right? Like, shouldn't it be the opposite? No, the first one is the default. Which is nothing. Which is nothing. And the and second one, it is if you have a just. So. Okay, so this didn't work. Uh, it is con doing some sort of type checking problem. Like it's expected type string to string to literal. And then the actual type is a string to literal. Where are we doing the cons? Where are we doing the cons? What do you mean? We need the cons, right? Like, since we have the char and the list of char. Well, now it's a string, right? So it's a concat, but... No, we don't need the, the, the cons because we are reading it uh, as, like, we are discarding. We are discarding the this thing. Oh, okay, yeah, you are using just for the information on the map yeah, there. If we have a just, we don't care about what is happening after. Uh, yeah. And then we are reading as a number, we are reversing its signal and just wrapping it up. We are the, using the, the negations to... Yeah. So, I want this to work just because of my, my get to sleep well. 
For me, this is really fine. I actually prefer Dude, this way no, because I'm less fine code. With that. But... I'm fine with that. Uh, it works. I'm fine. fine. I'm fine with what it works. Maybe, maybe. Um, and you're still using the infix bullshit, so it doesn't matter. No, we can make... It would be very no, no, unreadable no, no. to me, but we can make them... No, no, never mind. <laughs> Anyway, this could, this could be done with the default. Yeah, man, that's no a, that's why I like as expressions, man. You don't think of priority. Like no, that care. is the, that is very valuable. I agree with you. That after having the Lisp experience, we don't have to think about <laughs> the Lisp experience. Yeah, the the Lisp experience. That's what I call it. Uh, I can now totally like uh, understand the purpose of. Okay, I don't want to think about priority. Just who cares? Yeah, I understand that. Anyway, so let's try to parse stuff. Let's try to have some something going on. Okay, so some dot something. Is this the one that we are trying to do in main? Yes, it is. Yes. Cool. Okay, so let's read it. Let's call it main. Uh, <laughs> open any shit about this. <laughs> okay. Oh no, but this is uh, so, this is expected. This is yes. expected actually. So, oh, well, it wasn't, right? That shouldn't be possible. We just did a map on the parser. Like, we just need to change the parser. Yeah, good. Uh, good. Yes. <laughs> now we have negatives. We do have negatives. Okay, so, so let's try, try to do the sum with only one element. Put the minus be uh, outside. The minus outside? Outside the parentheses. Here? Yes. This should Let's never see. ever work. This is. Yeah, okay. Uh, oh, never mind. We need parentheses, right? <laughs> the the error is done. An expected bracket. Uh, yeah, put parentheses before. Parentheses. Yeah, we tried to parse the digits and it failed, right? You need parentheses. You mean like that? Yeah, let's see. Open edition about it. All right, that's cool. Okay, so <laughs> put another number there just to nest things, and outside as well, like on the minus. Yes. So this should be one. Yes. Good. <laughs> Very good. Okay, so uh, you're not type checking on the main, are you? Uh, we are doing everything. Why not? Okay, so so yeah, try to put the. Type here, arithmetic operator must use integers or rationals. I just want to know why the ask, the ASCII garbage is No, it is because is we are... No, I can, we can make it work. Uh... Oh, with the Zach. Well, we have to deal with the warnings later, but... We then use a Zach, and then that will work just fine. Uh, okay, so now we do stack the Zach. <laughs> it's official, our language is unportable. No, this is an XOS problem. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know if it's yeah, HP. This, this is an XOS problem. I can't. No, I don't know if this is not, not found in. Oh, dude, I, I know how to. You know how? Just point to the path, like dot, I think it's dot build. ls dot la. Uh, dash la, sorry. Okay, so stack. LS. No, no, do ls. First do ls minus la. La. Yes. Enter. Oh, okay. So you see that. Let me see the full. Yeah, I think it's the stack work. Uh, do an ls inside. Dot stack work. And keep completing. I think it is this. Yes. Keep going. <laughs> keep going. Uh, build. Uh, yes. Spatula. Spatula. Exact. Spatula. And then there's a folder. It's a folder. So go again. And there is the binary. It should be. Okay. Now you cannot see because it's a binary. So go. I think. I don't know actually now. Wait, we can yeah, just this... ls that. Okay, the, it is not there. Not <laughs> so, okay, that's bad. 
Why don't you just do uh, stack exec on this path without the dash, the slash in the end? I think I was doing something similar. We yeah, don't find find executable. No, find executable that specified path. Dude, let me just check. But this is a very to... well known XOS problem, this, this error message. I'm very used to, to, to seeing this at work. Ah, depends anyway. if I, I wouldn't say it's Nixos, it could be, but I'm not. Yeah, anyway, so. Uh, okay, we have operators. At least it seems like it. We should test a little bit more thoroughly, though. So. Ah, who cares, man? <laughs> uh, try to glue the <laughs> operators together with the numbers. Uh, try to glue this, you mean? Yes, and the minus as well with the parentheses. I think it shouldn't fail because the unbound variable plus one in the environment. So yeah, it understood as a variable. Yeah. Okay. Now the question: Can we do this? I expect a type error out of this. Uh, Here's type the path. Error. Here's Arithmetic the path operator goes. must use integers or rationals. Wait, what? What happened? I get the left. <laughs> what happened? I closed a result. <laughs> That's the wrong key binding and I closed the... Uh, here, that was the path that I got the thing, which was the same, so I don't know why you couldn't find it. Anyway, uh, we got a problem. Mm -hmm. We do got a problem. Mm -hmm. So let's try. Let's try to devolve this to this. It worked. That's great. But when it has a typing clash between the num number, the, uh, the numbers, like this, mm -hmm. the error message is really bad. Ah, that that's not a problem. <laughs> What are you just talking scary about? People. <laughs> what are you talking about? Okay, uh, we pi, can change yeah. that. We can change that. It's, it's like uh, pipe mismatch. What was the name? Of it the is message? a type mismatch. It is a type mismatch. Uh, it is in here. Arithmetic operator must use only integers or only rationals. Mm -hmm. Uh. Wait. Only numbers of the same kind. What about Only that? numbers no, of not the kind. Sort. Same sort. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Only numbers of the same sort. Um, yeah, but I'm having a hard time. Oh no, operator minus. It's here. Okay. So let's reload. Let's call me. Yeah. Well, arithmetic operator minus must use only numbers of the same sort. If we care, if like in the, in the imaginary world where we care, mm -hmm. uh, it's a very imaginary because I don't. We we should tell <laughs> the clash. <laughs> well, yeah, cool. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> Good to know. I mean, oh we God. can right? We evolved here. Oh, let's add the equal operator. Let's oh yes. Order. Let's add that. So we don't have equality, but you know. <laughs> yeah, we don't have equality. Okay, so if you go to operator, you add the op equal. You I don't add, remember where it is. You add your uh, the show, so you can parse it. This is so magic. The fact that we can just add the type, add the string, and now we can parse it. Done. Well, we hope, right? No, we not hope. We know because mm -hmm. of the bounded in the num trick. Okay, um, so let's see. Uh, no, but the functionality may be wrong, though. Let's go to the evaluate. It is a boolean. So, let's see here, booleans. Yeah, uh, yes, yeah, the that. functionality, we have to make one aside, right? Yeah, the evaluator is not that magical. We have to make... Uh, yeah, okay, that's not a problem. Like, okay, let's just copy paste, no, let's just copy paste the end. Yeah, we're monkeys. <laughs> uh, and change this to equal. Oh, 
equal, not equals. Uh, what is the default? So, True. The default is the same as the end. Uh, Wait, there isn't should, the end of the equal? That makes sense. You need true at least. Wait, so no, it's not the same. The, the, okay. Yeah, like, okay, like, we should match this with at least... I think it is the same case as this. Mm -hmm. So we need at least to have true. And then they all need to share the same type. So, oh, dude, this is the same thing as the other one. The generic operators, but we just add an extra gumb along the way. Wait, I'm confused. It is the same? Uh, yeah, like, we just need to check if all of them have the same type. That's the type checking, right? But, okay, let's focus on evaluation first. So, evaluation, we just evolve everything. No, uh, we're not, ev we're not evo evaluating everything. We're evaluating the, ev evaluating the first one. But that's the catch. Okay, we but need to then we evolve everything we need to evolve into... Two. We need to do two times this. Like that. And in the case yeah. that they are equal... Mm -hmm. True. Then we continue. So we call mm -hmm. this uh, we're using rest uh, equal. If they are not, we just short circuit to false. Yeah. Which is this. And this should never happen. Yeah, okay. Uh, uh, let's just... See? Yeah, okay, that looks good. Now the type checking, I think, is... Yeah, the type checking is the next one. Okay, let's go typer. there, typer. So... so it should be the same as this. Mm -mm. It is exactly like this. Oops. Are you sure? I am sure. Hmm, because we are, okay, we're type checking, they're not all bulls, that's the problem, Lemus. Ooh. It, it is on the others, but it is a generic thing, so it is anything else. So, check if all, oopsie. You're correct, they default. are not exactly... And then it should be... Oh, uh, this sucks. Like, <laughs> okay, we can't do like this. Oh man, this sucks. Or... t -boo, you got the idea? Yeah, I got like, the idea. But it can be anything. But it don't have our patterns. Oh, so we can compose. We can create one function per each and then compose all of them with an or. <laughs> That's an option. Did you oh, get what no, I no, said? No, 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 no. There is a better way. Oh, there's the any, right? Yeah, no, no, we can... Oh my god, we're gonna use again the trick of the bound. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay, Make so it it's gonna be... Uh, any. Uh, yeah, any. Uh, apply to... Oh, but wait, 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 wait. We shouldn't do on the others, right? We should do on the equal, like a specifically separate thing. here because like here it's some considering we're not considering the distinction of the operator then like some operator that is not like yeah equal. we are considering this to be arithmetic. Yeah. arithmetic so let's do it there yeah but this is gonna be any uh, if if any but this uh, but this this has a well let me think Yeah, we kind of don't have a choice. I need to reverse this to be fancy. So it's gonna be any, and then you. What is the function that you you need a you need a list, right? Mm -hmm. So you're gonna f map a function that you're gonna write in a little bit, and you're gonna use the same trick as before. No, no. Max bound. But then, but then get this: the function is actually check if all. Oh, I using see. Using the operand types. Operands types. Yeah, but it's me max bound on the types, right? Yeah, on Did, the, we need to add it there probably. On the type. 
the type yeah and then this will be true or false and then if this is true then we return uh, pure tibu and if this is not then we just return a left so why are you put the error message there I need to add the, the, the derive here to types yeah here so it's gonna be uh, bounded um, and in them. wait wait why do we need that to make the same trick that I just explained it uh, what's the trick the trick is the equal they they can't they need to work on any sort of uh, on any any type at all right uh -huh. and then we need to we don't know which type is gonna come it's gonna be a boolean it's gonna be a number we don't know okay so the way that we need to do is we pick all the types available then we check <laughs> if the list is composed out of uh, the same but at least once uh -huh. right. And if that's the, if that's the case, this will this f this list will be transformed to a list of booleans, right? Wait, it, why don't you pick the first of the operand types and just compare them if they are all equal to the first? Why you just uh, can you repeat that? Yeah, you pick the first and check if the others are equal to the to to him. Pick the first and check. Okay, you pick pick the head of the list. Say like this: pick the head of the list and compare if the tail is equals to this to the yeah, head. Yeah, you're suggesting to do some sort of this. Then, oops, the mail message is already there. Sorry. Yeah, that's that's a lot better actually. So then. Yeah, but the pattern match will complain with you, right? What do you mean? Exhaustiveness on mm -hmm. X excess. No, it will. Oh, wait. Could be empty, right? That's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna have to. Ooh, this is interesting. How are we gonna know how many elements are in here? We don't um, need to know, right? No, actually, no. I, actually, I can do what I said because we already pattern matched the empty list here. So this list is, it has at least one element, which will be okay of when doing this. Oh, I see, yeah, makes sense. Compiler agrees with you, but we can see. Okay, so let's think. So we're going to do a fold, right? Mm -hmm. It's going to be a fold. Uh, we kind of don't care about the order in this case. Well, if we care about good error message, we should do a fold L. <laughs> yeah, who cares? Who cares? <laughs> I already wrote there a message, who cares? <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, okay, so then it comes the function, which is going to be this. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, the base. Yeah, but you need to put the first there, the function with the equal, right? You need to put the, the first there. No, in the fold L, the fun the fun no, it is like this. What I mean is, the function is comparing the elements to the first. Yes. So, the function is not only equal, it's equal to the first. Oh, yeah, no, that's right. That's right. The first, yeah. Uh, actually, it doesn't... Okay, yes, it makes sense. Yeah, and then the initial part, yeah. Uh, okay, this will be at the end a boolean so and by the way this thing has a name like this is a function already uh, I don't know exactly the uh, the name right now but they, they, it has a proper name when you're having when you're doing a fold when you're doing the oh the sure system. you're saying the any and the for all right or the, every uh, and any like this kind of stuff yeah but it's not any because any it uh, expects a predicate. Oh no! Yeah, like yeah, that's right. That's the equal that we are using. Yeah, yeah we, we actually, could have we, we should, could have used the all. No, no, but yeah, it's no, not the any. Wait, it's the all, it's right? All. It's the yeah. counterpart. Yeah, it's all the these. all. Sorry. So if all of them, then you do poor pure x, and then else you do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
type error mismatch with the inequality comparison. Yeah, the parser in theory should just work. So <laughs> uh, how can I how can I add something here? Oh, printf, right? Can yeah. you add the printf? Now? Yeah, I can add that. So Expected. Dude, how do I add in place here? Oh, it's just this, right? A mask. Yeah. Yes. And then you do, ch yeah. Show X and uh, show. Um, show. Ding. We don't head, have. Head XX. It's not necessarily the head, right? That's an, a fair point. We don't know if because this, it could be, uh, this yeah. could be empty. <laughs> if, it, if it was if a 4, the right. <laughs> if we were using a 4, then... Uh, yeah, this is unsafe. This is totally unsafe. <laughs> That's not the only problem. Man. Oh no, this, wait. Is this unsafe? Or is this unsafe? This is unsafe. Yeah, this list can, ha, has at least one element. So yeah. Expected this, but got something else. Actually, I don't think it's unsafe. No, it because if it failed, yeah. if it failed, compare the one that you have with something. Because if it's an empty list, then it's okay. It, 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 is it? Is it okay to compare equal with only one element? No, no. What I mean is, you have the first and the rest. The first is the one that is going to compare right with the rest. Yeah. If it fails, the all oh, is yeah. because you found at least one element that is Aren't different. This, oh man, why don't we do a reduce with a difference? And then we just get the first one that is different. You got the idea? Like wait, we just do a filter. With, here's the thing. If it failed, we know that if we filter the list... You get the maybe... With the yes. difference, because if it's nothing, it's okay. <laughs> yes. If it's an error, you have it. Dude. <laughs> Wait, I didn't get it. Can you repeat that? Like, for example, okay, I think there's a simpler way, which is like, okay, do you have this? Let's just make a picture here. So you have a bool, and you have an integer, and you have a, a bool, right? Yeah. And then, well, this, is, this was expecting bools only. It got an integer. So... What is the problem? Well, it's going to fail on the second, but the, in this case, the head would be right, right? But we don't know. So what do you do? You basically pick the first one, and then you have this list. And then you do, okay, filter this list with the difference. <laughs> I don't know. I think difference is this, right? Filter was fine, right? Yeah, find, uh, find is better because you just find the first one, and then you get the first one that is different, and that's it. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good one. It's totally great. Yeah, that's actually a good one. It's totally great. I mean, it's kind of inefficient to do this, but... Well, it it's... is not. It is only like a better way to do that, and maybe laziness already oh. does that for us, if but we here's... are not even type-checking the others. No, but we should already have this value. It's because we want to reduce with the all, I like, guess, or something. Mm -hmm. If we were using like fold, we would have this thing already there. Oh no, fold, I think we, we wouldn't be able to do that anyway. Mm. Oh, with fold we can, man. Oh, man. Yeah, just do this, man. Who cares? But with fold, we can we can format the message inside the fold, I think. Are we type checking all of them? Yes. Or not because of the find? No, yeah. because we of are... the part? Yeah, all of these are already type checked. Okay, yeah. The, the only like way to improve this would be, okay, the find will not even type check the other ones that you're not going through. Oh, but that is... Okay, but that, that list is also lazy, right? Um, that list, yes, it is. Okay, so yeah, I gotta keep thinking because it's not strict. Okay, so... so mismatch elements in ethical comparison. Expected but got... Uh... <laughs> Something else. <laughs> <laughs> that was me giving up there. Show oh, wait. Difference is like that? Yeah. What? What the heck? Yeah, because what you said is my pen. This is my pen. Oh, okay. Makes sense. Uh, I guess this is, needs a do also. Okay, let's see if this type checks. And it doesn't. Yeah. The evaluator is wrong. 
Oh, right. we need to derive equality. Ooh, that's a problem. Oh no. <laughs> No, we can compare types. We right? can com no, we can't compare native. Well, yeah, we can compare native functions. Oh, just right? convert them to strings and then we compare the <laughs> strings. Wait, what things should we compare? Types. <laughs> no, not types. Like values. Labs. No? What? No, there should be types. No, no, no. no One man. error at a time. The, the error that we're having right now is that oh, okay. the it's line 78 for the evaluator, which is this line here, this will return a value. But values are not comparable. <laughs> what, what now? Oh, so just implement ah. the interface. I compare. Go to our values. Go to our values. Yeah. Isn't there a thing like dot .ec that you can we do? We can't compare the two last one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can't you do deriving ec something? Yeah, we can. Well, I, don't, I never did deriving EQ with like functions in ah, the middle. Try, of the try, try. <laughs> okay. I would be very I mean, surprised. I mean, it's not complaining right now. Yeah, uh, the <laughs> exactly. Wait. Oh no. <laughs> can't we implement our own EQ? That yeah, we just can. compares if the. Okay, so we can just see if the thing is also a V. Oh, but dude, how we will not compare okay, in a in a native <laughs> function? We just like wash our hands, right? We just like say, okay, <laughs> give up. It's, it's always equals, like. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, so if you are comparing, oh, this is gonna suck. Wait. So we just do like if it's a v unit, like all the rest they're fine. The only problem is the v function, which is, we just can annotate. Okay, yeah. it's always equal. I think that one approach that we could take is the following: on the type check, we know that we should not compare functions, and then we are already dealing with the case of the closure and the native function because they both have the same type. Can't we compare functions? And then we can just throw exceptions. We win the values, think, right? Think about it. Can we, we can't, man. We can't. We can't. <laughs> we can't. We can't. <laughs> because they are all lists. No, no. It doesn't make sense. We can't. It does. They are all lists. It's <laughs> no, lisp. It, man, dude, it is yeah. lisp. It is called as data. You will have some, <laughs> some wrong cases. For example, they will no, have a different dude. syntax, but they are mm -hmm. the same function. That's yes, that's not the problem. I'm saying that is a mode for comparing functions. I don't want to get 100% right. I want to get the data right. That doesn't make any sense. No, dude, <laughs> that's cold as data. What are you talking about? No, if you do the following, if you code the thing and then you want to check the expression, so okay, yes, that's, that's a different about. thing. That's not function equals function. No, I know. I'm just talking about expressions in general. Oh, by the way, we don't even have lists. Not yet. In a Lisp language. <laughs> I just noticed that again. Yeah, so let's do the same trick that we did for uh, for all. Yeah, okay, and then this guy needs a special instance of EQ where you're gonna say that whatever comparing to whatever, you're gonna say that this is an error. <laughs> You can't compare native functions. But isn't bro. that a but isn't that a problem like for us to add this there? What do you mean? As a signature? Because what? Yeah, shouldn't it be what? Wait, wait, that's wrong then. You still you still put you still need the, the V native function. Okay. Unless you put it there. V before. Wait, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> what? Uh, no. We don't have literal types. We need the equivalent of the off, you know, camera. It yeah, needs like, to carry the information. Let me... Where are you? I lost Lemos. Oh. Right. Here. We only have the tag, right? Done. Lambs. Uh, but dude, this is wrong. Like, it should yeah. be V, blah, blah, blah. And then, like, the off with the type. Yeah, here. we don't have the off, but yeah, that's what Magita said. 
I'm not getting why we need the. Oh, no, because we need to pattern match these options, right? No, no, that I get. Okay, but then we, we can change these, I guess. No, no, I'm... <laughs> Wait, what? I mean, it's the same thing as before, but we can do easy <laughs> things. Like, what is native function in the value data type? What is native functions in the value data type? Is a, a candidate for a value. It's a tag. Yeah. What it carries. No, no, I'm not. I'm not a, a questioning the tag. I'm just saying that we should have it here, and then this could, should be another thing. Like that. That's it. Oh, the name, right? Okay, now I agree. What about the thing being unboxed or not? Like, can it just be the agents? What is the difference? Uh, the difference is that being a data type or a new type, you you have like. It's because nobody ever does like this. Because this is actually an alias. You should, this should be like that. Uh, I just this. I just did data type and new type just out no, of like. Wait, wait a no, second. What I mean is the following: uh, if you put the mm -hmm. tag there, the native function after the equals, you're going to create a box thing that has like more indirection yeah, instead of this inline in a type. Yeah, but here's the thing: like you have, you have, you need to implement equality here. And then you're going to say, okay, what is this? Right? Because it checks these things as well. Oh, no, right? no, no. This needs to be a new type. Yeah, so that's the thing that I was... This needs to be a new type. Wait, why? Because, because we need then to you're be boxing things. Like you're hiding this, you know? Uh -huh. yeah, like you in this case, it is hiding this, this, this crap here from this equality. But the problem is, this shouldn't be an error then. Wait, but we just discussed that we can't compare No, I functions. know, I know, but the problem is with the way this equality is, I think, I'm not sure how it works. Mm -hmm. You cannot, co like, if you cannot compare this, right, this will be wrong. This will complain, right? No, 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 it will not work like that because what we are doing is the following. Oh, okay, want... it will propagate only for this case. That's... Exactly. Okay, okay, I get it. So what we want is, we want to Haskell to derive for every single other case it's exactly what we did with for all. So if you go, mm -hmm. if you guys go to types.hs, the reason why we did t for all info is because we wanted the normal deriving equality for everybody uh, yeah. uh, aside from t for all. Okay, so the it. thing that we did is we created a new guy and we customized its equality. And then Haskell mm -hmm. say, okay, I will derive for everybody else. Everybody else that doesn't have already. But t for all already has one, so it will not change the equality so this is exactly what we're doing in this case we are just like oh we want you to compare everybody like dumb like grug way aside mm -hmm. from the v-native functions the v-native function needs to be uh, uh an error and that mm -hmm. that's that's pretty much it yeah my god can you guys explain me why you need to be boxed for instantiating the equal type class yeah, because as far as I can tell, you cannot instantiate the equal for a type alias. Oh, okay. Uh, maybe I'm wrong though. So now it is complaining. Let's see. Uh, let's have a fresh one here. Okay. Uh, line thirty-four. Oh. Well, oh, our why. print. Yeah, we need to wrap the our print. Or Soviet print. <laughs> Soviet. Oh, and we need to talk to Nathan about this this guy. I'm glad we, we went there. Oh, the for all. Oh, man. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So now we have two errors only. So the first one is easy, which is this guy, line 32. Uh, which is that now this guy needs to be unboxed twice. Like that. And oh, the find. We just need to mm. add the the import. Just, just to import. So where is that happening? This is happening here, which means that we need to go up, and we need to go to import data dot list uh, find. Good, this import is driving me crazy. Okay. okay. Now we have it here. No instance Can for this guy. Type typer.hs line 118. What is there? What is there a message? 
There are messages complaining about a line 118. Yeah, but check the, the problem, man. No, the problem is that no instance no, go from down, Luna go to down. fail. Yeah, I don't want to see that, that crap. I can't read that. <laughs> Operands, blah, blah, for... Oh, it's on the assignment. Yeah. Interesting. Did we ever did this? No, I don't recall. Uh... Can... Yeah, that's a... That's a weird thing. Can we dismember outside? Let's see. No, out, outside we can, but we we don't we can't dismember outside because we need to all of them to be already type checked. Well, we can do this. I'm I'll very follow you again. Curious. Ah oh, man, who cares? I'm not even think. I'm not gonna think. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm doing, right? I think head is like this, right? Head is like that, but you should you should think a little bit, a tiny bit. Okay, just a bit bit. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah, let's see if that works. Operand oh, it's inside type. a do. No, no, no. Should no, 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 no. That's correct. No? That's correct. That's correct. You just sure? lost the S here. And now uh, it's complaining about indentation. Okay. Okay, it worked. Very weird. So we cannot rename it after this? Yes, that's I will that look for this. Kinda, I will look that kind of makes sense because we're binding something to something. No, but I, was, binding, I would but expect it to deconstruct. Yeah, I would, I would expect it to deconstruct. But anyway, that's fine. Okay, so, well, now we need to test it. So the quality. So let's create an example here. So, equality. So let's put numbers first. Egalité. And let's let's go. Okay, it's false. It makes sense. Yes. Let's put a true in the middle of the road. Er, uh, type error, mismatch type elements of. Oh, we should comparison. write we should Ex write show for the types as well. We let's should. do that later. Yeah. No, let's do that later. Who cares? Okay, but now just continue. One, oh, one, one. now we need to talk. How much time do we have left? We have one. Uh, we have four, 40 minutes. Okay, so let's explain to uh, Nathan this thing. So Nathan. Oh man, that's completely wrong. Just remove Wait, it. Wait, explain what? We need to explain that this. A, that was just a gamble, man. <laughs> yeah. So what is the type, or, or let me rephrase: What should be the type of the printing function? Oh, I guess that the for all, right? Yes. <laughs> but that this didn't work, so something along these lines is wrong because we had to fix the type of the for the, the show to integers. You can only print integers. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> awesome. What didn't work? Uh, oh, for all, T for all info. Yeah, so we can just like that. So can we go through this again? So it is a T for all that picks a T, right? That has the kind star K. Maybe this is wrong. This is where it started being wrong. No, I think it. I think and it the type. And the type for all of this is an arrow that picks a T variable T and returns a unit. Not that? The silence. Oh, okay, can you can you repeat again? Yeah. So if you remember from this. The T for all info is composed out of three things, right? A text, a kind, and a type. So we want to we want to add to our prelude the type for a printing function, which should be a for all a a, a, a to unit, right? That's what we want. So then yeah. we have a we we have a, a T in the text uh, field of the T for all info. Then it needs to go the kind. We the, added the star k kind to the, to uh -huh. and then the type should be a t arrow that picks a t variable t and returns a t unit. It makes sense, I guess. But, yeah, but this, this is doesn't... wrong. <laughs> yes. Ah, uh, what do you mean? The type checking. Is yeah, wrong. type checking. Can run the run an example. Yeah. Try to but do the print. If this is wrong. The type checking is wrong. Like, what is going wrong, right? <laughs> Yeah. Let me see the application. Man, of... What is that? What is the code that you wrote? 
Yeah, I don't know as well. Oh, show true. It is parsed correctly, by the way. No, no. What is the the code that you wrote? Like, yeah, can show, show true. the yeah, file? Show true. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I mean, of course it's correct, man. You need to pass a type. Oh, right. that's true. That's true. We need to pass a type for that. So, like, pass integer. Like that? Yes. No. Okay, but now it changed, right? Now Wait, it is in the application. E we are sharing the variables, right? So e variable is also for type Ooh. variables. Or ah. is that wrong? Ah. <laughs> that should not should be application and that should oh, not be a variable. Right. Yeah, that's not like an e application. There should be an uh there should be the for all. That's true. Can we not use the parser? Like for testing? Oh man, let's let's fix that. Let's go back there. Let us Wait. So now I am anyway, very confused. Doing that without inference is like <laughs> really weird, right? Yeah, dude, <laughs> disconnect disconnect with me from this code. I'm not coding anyway. Wait. I what? can't code them powerless. Oh you mean just this, yeah, so yeah, just so you have the completion, because doing this without completion will be hell. Uh I don't know if that was a good move, but uh, anyway, let's try a little bit. So the first thing that I want to uh, I want to I want to remember, this is the typing for the T for all, right? T for all is here. Type T for all is here. Oh, so it is even in here. So is this correct? Oh, our syntax is different. We need the for all, blah blah blah. Dude, okay, we are stupid. That's why. Wait, what do you mean? What it all boils down to we being stupid. No, no, the wait. the syntax like we need the for all like with the thing for the application we don't. No, dude. Wait. Okay, that is the type, right? Yeah, for the this application, is the type. we shouldn't okay. need that. So Check the application of application, that. Application, expression application. So as far as I can tell. Wait, no, but uh, now I am confused. What should be the parse version of the code, Nathan? Go to no, AST no. first. Here. Yeah, so it should be a E type application, right? It should yeah. be an E type application, in which this is the E variable, right? With the show? The e variable? Yeah, this no, should be this, show. No, this is the application. The, oh, the second thing. No, the, but yeah. The first thing is the application, the second thing is the type. The integer. Yeah, so this should be integer, and, g and this should be the whole. Um, the show, yeah, sure. the application of the show, and the true, the literal true. Yeah, what is the expression? What is this expression in our case? The Aside show, from the, the show, application. No, but what would that be parsed to? An application. An application, so this. So it would be Wait, an application. Wait, expression inside it type application is application. That's the, what I understood from no, it. It's the other way yes. around. What? Yeah. Because let me write on the chat. I was thinking all this time that it was the opposite. The E type thing was wrapping another. No. Like, look at that. The outer one is an application, right? The inner one, it's the E type application. That makes sense to me. But then the parse version should be E application. Of an E type application with show oh, I see. So and you a type. Can have the, the type parameter. And uh, this should be exactly what it is. But this shouldn't be an E variable, this should be a type. You could do something funny. Uh, uh, that's the thing. Are we using the same? No, we are I not. Think we're that's, using the same. No, we are not. That's the thing. No, we are using the same parser. Yes, so that's right. The, uh, for the variable, I mean. Oh, let's, look at, let's, let's look for this. So let's see. Ah, so we get. Wait, this. don't we have a special syntax for no, saying it's a no, type? No, 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 I, I know, I know what is the problem. No, we I just know. have the keyword no, list for types. Yeah, we need to. That's exactly the which problem. Is a, which <laughs> that's is that's exactly the problem. Yeah, which is a tremendous problem because if you have aliases wait, wait, wait. later, we're screwed. What are we using to say that the thing being applied is a type? We Nothing. are using string. We are using string. What? No, no, no. Yeah. 
we should yeah. we should we should have something like that because no no here's the thing sure. like we're just okay you want to match the types right we have a list of words for the types but if your question is how do we know that this show has the integer as a type i don't think we have anything no no, no but that's the thing yeah look at that's this. not enough let me because see. We have this, is the this is the problem expression Be because this guy no 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 this is already wrong this you know why because it will try, it will pick the integer and say, "What is this trying to parse an expression?" And it will find a, a, a pattern which is the variable. So what we actually need to do is to add. We have two options, or we reverse mm, the see, order, or we reverse the order of uh, this, or we put the type first, or we say that a type, the words that we use for describing types, can can't be variables. Put the type it's first. It's exactly the same problem that I was discussing with Nathan earlier. Today. Put the type first because that's wrong. Yeah, I mean, I would say that a good start would be putting the type on the left. Yeah. Oh wait, we're gonna put the type on the, the left. Yeah, because that's the evil operator, right? That's the evil. <laughs> yeah, but you need to remember to change the rest of the code, right? That is depending <laughs> on that argument. Yes. So let's see. Uh, and then oh, we by, do by the way. One Either? possible solution would be doing the following. Let when we are type checking the application, we check if the function is the variable show. And then type checking the special <laughs> way. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try again. Then we don't even need the type parameter. Oh my god, that. Hmm. Dude, Nathan's worse than me today, man. <laughs> Like, the only funny thing would be on the repo, because the if you are printing thing. the type there... The Look at the way he's speaking now, the only funny thing <laughs> is if it's the only... But it isn't. You're correct, Magetta, this needs to flip also. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is still wrong. Uh, th 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 no, I don't think it is wrong anymore, because I, I, let, I swapped those, and I swapped those. So I think everything should be okay. Okay. Let's see. Okay, but we need to remember this all the time. Every single time that we are manipulating text that can be anything, that will involve the variable parser in which is a funnel. Every everything can be a variable. So we need to remember that. Uh it worked! <laughs> Great. Okay, I'm I'm very <laughs> impressed actually. <laughs> It's exactly try, what I said. It's just exactly try with something else. Just try with something else, like a, a text. Oh, we don't have strings, right? We don't have strings. Okay, try rational. <laughs> Wait, what are you returning? <laughs> we are returning unit. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, it. Oh, wait, then it's not the show in the sense of Haskell, right? Yeah, it is. That That's the Haskell's unit. By that's the, the Haskell's unit. No, no, the show. Show it's like to string, right? Instead of print. Oh, Oh, of yes, no, no. Oh, yes, it's wrong. <laughs> yeah. We should rename that, actually. We just felt it was cute, I guess. Uh, okay. Yeah. And we shouldn't print with the type, right? That's kind of... Yeah, we shouldn't. We I did that before just for debugging. Mm -hmm. Let's implement these shows. Uh, oh, it's here. Cool. Thanks for that. Oh, we had it. Uh, okay. Uh, actually, okay. So, what do you guys think? Uh, well, strings, man. <laughs> what are you talking about? We have strings. No, no, no. We uh, this was the last minute addition that Magetta made last time. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I mean, it should work, right? There's nothing. What about the parser? Uh, the parser would you will fix not the parser, allow this yes. to happen. Yeah, so let's just fix the parser. But it should it will be... probably be a variable, starting with quotes. It should be <laughs> it should be a literal, right? So a string. Ooh. <laughs> um, think of a name, Nathan. Oh no, I hate this. Uh, string p. Right, right, you, Magetta. Right, you, <laughs> two on. people typing. It's bad. String p. Okay, so how are you gonna parse this? monstrosity it is just it needs to be a between of quotes yeah just this i guess wait 
this, this, and this many uh, string between char. That's it. No, no, no. Wait, wait. This is not. This is not okay. And then we map. Okay. What? This, yeah, because this needs to be many something else. Let me ch check here in the library. No, just just many. No, it is many something. You're correct. And actually, I think we should. Oh wait, isn't it many characters? Yeah, instead? many shards of some. It's many letters. Many, many letters. Well, not letters. Well, numbers. <laughs> Do you want to have emojis and strings? <laughs> no, but don't we have any char? Uh, uh, let's go to utilities. Uh, I don't think we have it. The heck, man. Yeah, I don't think we have it because we decided to... Yeah, this, we don't have any char because we decided that when we decided to have emojis in the language. So... The emojis yeah. are screwing up. <laughs> so yeah, there's that. No, but we could do this, man. Uh, variable generic. We made this function precisely for this. Uh, so... <laughs> It should be just variable generic, this, but there is a problem, which is that we need to pack that, so it's going to be like that. But here's the thing, you should map anything. Uh, this variable generic maps stuff like symbols as well. It maps every crap. Yeah, every crap. Like this, are you sure? Do you guarantee, do you put your hand on fire <laughs> that, it, that it maps like this? Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> Well, I'm not 100% sure of the plus and the minus. So you wouldn't because... put your hand on fire. No, no, no. Go back. Go back. Control Z that. Uh, I can't. I am not okay, in Okay, so I it would put cool. my hand on fire about this. Okay. Yeah, this definitely should work. Okay. All right. Let's, Let's see if they're going to burn your hand. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's, that's a thing, I guess. Okay, but we need. Don't we need to do every, uh, something else? We need with to the do parser? a type string. A type string as well. Yeah, right? type, right? So let's go to the types.hs. Let's go to type. So we're going to have a t string. Cool. And then the typer. Do we need to change anything in here? I don't think so because it's a print. Oh, maybe a pattern matching somewhere? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. And we need to map. We need to parse the type. String, right? As well. What? Wait, what? Sorry? Oh, we need to map the type stringy as well. The type stringy? Yeah, on the parser for the types. Where is that? Oh, here. Oh, Let you're correct. Oh, I, I, I missed type, uh, in type inference. Uh, type string, t string, uh, string. String. Beautiful. Okay, Beautiful. after this, let's do lists for. Please. Please, <laughs> let's do lists. Wait, no, let's test this let's first. Let's run and let's no, do No, let's lists. test this first. So the show, uh, it's gonna be string, and here's the crap that we want. Open. <laughs> <laughs> let's see, Lemus. Uh, crew. Um, oh, you forgot the, uh, yeah, the I string, you I need to remove the, the show from this guy. Oh, I see. Um, oh, but this guy is now also lacking. Yeah, so it doesn't have the L string. L string string show string. I don't need that, right? Yeah, I don't need it. Just this. Okay. Uh, did I save it? Types 140. Types 140. Wait, what? I am confused. Oh, they cannot print an expression? What the heck? No, no, no. no. Spotless 140. No instance to show type. What are you talking about? I removed it right now. Didn't you? No, I removed from the... Oh! Oh, I removed from the wrong place. Sorry for that. It, this is fine. I need I remove I need to remove from the literal. Okay. Ah. What? Ah, oh, <laughs> this. this. 
Uh, let me go. Let me go. Import the text. Unpack. Cool. Mean? What are you talking about? Perhaps you meant me. Imported module. Oh, okay. We had a problem. That's why. Okay, not in scope. Cool. Here. It's just an import. Yeah. Uh, also, oh, no. why don't we have a T literal people? That's actually a good question. A what? Yeah, we don't have something to accumulate all the literals, like a T literal, you know? Well, a what type for you? all the integers? No, for this, for that, for this, oh, okay. for that, and for this. Yeah, we could have, but... Laziness. Laziness. That's oh, what between. you Forgot the import for the between, I guess. Did we oh, ever no, use worked. between there? No, we didn't. Uh, oh, cool. There's a reason for that. Uh, where are we using the variable generic? Oh, there. Parse dot oh, yeah. So we need that here now. Mm -hmm. Oh, what? Okay, you're just like. Variable. And we also mm. need the between in here. Uh -huh. Back. Back. Oh, man. Neutral here. Is imports, man. Data. It caused me depression. It caused me depression. Okay, now we had a problem. Finally. Uh, what it is complaining this guy? I wouldn't even think I would just add parentheses. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's that's that tells you something for sure. I don't know what I don't. Okay, HLint is telling me I don't need. So I'll, let's let's trust HLint. Wait, am I going crazy? What is the function that picks a variable generic? Pack. No, this is pack. What are you guys? What are you talking about? Here. So where's the variable generic? Oh no 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 no! Wait, I am dumb. This guy already returns a text. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. It's already packed. And it's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess I lost my hand. Yeah? No, you, you didn't lose it. You just burned it. Which one was it? Uh, that's very hard to tell. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Line column 30. So let's go there. Which one of these is column 30? It's this. So it's Aha. complaining about this. So I guess like every special operator, because it makes sense, like we're not, uh, we don't consider them to be alphanumerics, nor, oh wait, they're symbols. Yeah, man. Why is this not working at all? Sequence. Yeah. Oh, uh, wait the... a second. On the sequence, it matters the order. Right, so we need to be alphanumeric first. So we, that's another problem. A string should be anything, not only this, right? It should be a sequence then. No, no, so no, let's no. do this, another. No, this sequence is not the sequence that you're talking about. This is another function. But prob maybe you're right. Oh, well, wait. Are you right? No, the order shouldn't matter because you're using an or. I, mean, I refuse. I will I search refuse. right now. You refuse. Haskell, parsec, any string. Do we have these in the keywords? No. What the parse, parse for fun. I'm very confused. Is alpha num and is alpha symbol. Oh, we can test that. Okay, so import data char is alpha num. Uh, yeah, it type. makes sense not to allow any string because we could do like. In. 
Okay, so this is not the what? the exclamation mark is not alphanumeric. Symbol? Also no. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's why. What the fuck? Okay, why? so what is what is that? What are you? What do you feed yourself of? Uh, he's ask. Okay, needs to be asked. <laughs> oh, if it is not. <laughs> well, it should be easy then. We should just add is alpha is ask here and then it should be okay. But what are the implications of that? Can we just add? We're. I just added. <laughs> No, you did. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, you did it. Okay, let's save that. Okay, so now we should just reload this thing. Of the best course, thing it's was not here. Oh, import. The best thing was you saying, like, oh, should we add? I already <laughs> added. Uh, unbound variable. Ooh, so that's it bad. understood that as a variable. <laughs> Awesome, I love it. <laughs> but how how can how can that be, man? Because the show with the number worked. A show with the number worked, right? Uh huh. Yeah. Oh man. No, it didn't. What oh, the we heck? Screw, we screwed some. We screwed something. Oh, could it remove the ASCII? Oh, the golfer is around. <gasps> yeah. No, but no, but that shouldn't matter because we are not allowing. Yeah, I know to be... that's the different order. I know that makes no sense, but just remove it. Okay, so let's go to here. Let's remove it. Oh no. Yeah, this makes no sense. I have no <laughs> idea. Why adding an S to there? Oh, dude. Can you add the ASCII back? But this doesn't make any sense because we are asking. Yes. Okay. I was thinking that maybe the parser doesn't know where to stop, you know, so it parses everything. But then it should be an error right away, like in the file or something. I think. Oh. I, we can't print stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, leaving, leaving well, the Well, actually, probably we can, because as far as I remember, this parser t crap is a very powerful thing, so probably it has yeah, a transformer yeah. instance, but... Sure, it has like a category theory to print stuff, right, and the bug. <laughs> well, leaving the dream. <laughs> well, it's part of the trade-off, yeah, I like, guess. There is a, there is a talk with Don Syme that uh, like he, he faces a bug like on the middle of the presentation, and then, like, he, he, like, quickly went there to the bug, right? And then it was, like, a bunch of, like, it was really, like, functional code. And he was, like, okay, like, how are we going to debug this? I, oh, I don't want to attach the debugger, man. And then he literally <laughs> just piped the thing to, a, like, a phone, a lambda, that printed the thing and then, like, returned the thing for him. That's it. Like, console, write, ln. That's it. That's based. What pros do? They print... The bug is unsafe from my all the way, and it is, but well. Uh, ah, just a sec. No, but this crap has the. This crap has the what we need, so we should be fine. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So text, parsec, prim, and we should have lift. IO. My brain, my brain is going here. Your brain. Yeah, to understand this. Okay, it's not there. Cool. So... Oh, no, man, just wait a bit. I'm gonna add my Mona Transformer here so I can print. <laughs> <laughs> this is so funny, man. This... No, oh, yeah, but this is part of the trade-off. <laughs> you want purity? You want pure functions? That's what you need to handle. I don't. I don't care. Uh, okay. <laughs> Victor joins right away <laughs> at this moment. <laughs> I'm so sorry, man. I'm so sorry. 
Let me think a little bit. Let me think. You don't need you to don't do a need bunch, to of, do a bunch shit of shit just to print for debugging. Well, Man, just do a safe prefer my own. Man. <sighs> um, we don't care. You don't care. You don't <laughs> I care. I don't want to use that. Uh, I will figure out why this is not working later. Yeah, you're good. Uh, I don't want to know, but just go. <laughs> <laughs> we need to do that. <laughs> oh, the Victor can't unmute. Uh, uh, you cannot unmute because you got teamed or because of this. Oh, uh, he left. Uh, oh, he bad. probably got teamed, man. Uh, <laughs> okay, so let me remember where the heck this wild beast lives. Oh, it's here. Okay. So this channel requires push to talk. What the heck? It doesn't. It doesn't, man. I will You're confirm local. that later for you. I can confirm right now. No, but you are a developer. He's not. All right, that's true. Save. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. Oh, per permissions, right? That makes yeah, sense. Yeah, it is permissions, but that shouldn't be the case. I think I have here. Let me see. What the heck? Priority. Mute, move, send, and bad attach. Read the history. Are Dude, you... Is this the public? Yeah, this is oh, the yes, public. Oh, yes, it is. Yeah, okay. So Victor is banned from speaking. Yeah, but that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it doesn't. I don't know. Yeah. I anyway, mean, I will tackle this later. Role... Uh, we already have unsafe perform IO here. Yeah, so I will have dinner, and then I don't know if you guys have time or will to do this will uh you shouldn't leave though uh because we are almost there yeah and it's you can like continue that. when i get back it will fi be finished this torture probably uh and nothing uh, has to go okay i divided that you uh, we are in utilities just gonna allow bang patterns. Bang patterns. What is a bang pattern? Is to allow. Uh, is to overwrite laziness. Okay. Uh, so it is this. <laughs> Who would have guessed? Of course it would be this. <laughs> oh, of course it will. Be. Yeah, what you're talking thanks. about? Uh, but that's not actually not a problem, right? We oh, are expecting okay. that to be the case. We are not expecting this to... What the... Delimeters. Delimeters is a map show. Which should be this. And no man bounded. I'll check if we didn't start with the list. It is working now. Okay. Good, so... I see you. See you later. I'll go. See you, people. I'll be back. I'll still around. Uh, Victor, Wait, you're not recording, right? No, we are recording. Okay, like... I okay. will finish just... recording now.